Hey, hey, peeps. Just thought I'd do a quick little haul of some stuff I've purchased already. And I've already done a little bit of damage at Boots and Marks and Sparks and a couple of items uh, duty free. So I thought I would do a quick little haul before I go to IMATS in the weekend and um, then I'll have too much to show you all in the one video. So I thought I'd do some now. Some of these stuff I have already been using, but um, it was more just so I could try them and see if I really liked them um, in case I needed to get some more to take back to Australia. I'll show you what I've bought. Um, and one of them was actually a gift from Blake uh, for Mother's Day. So that one I'll show you first because I'll kind of do it in order of how I picked it up or got it or whatever the case may be. Um, I've just finished recording a video with Blakey. We were trying some sweets and the aftermath is pretty disturbing. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll post that one first and then I'll do this one. And yeah, they'll probably be posted tonight, tomorrow, Friday, whatever the case may be. I have no idea when they'll get up. But first things first, um, I got for Mother's Day from Blakey the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. Can you see how pretty that looks with the light shining on it? It's like a white holographic. Um, that's the palette itself and then that's the shadows in there. They're like eyeshadows or and or highlighters. Now I am wearing um, the middle shade and a little bit of that shade. So ultraviolet, amethyst and blue sapphire. I put over the top of a blue eyeshadow today and it's really really pretty really easy to use and just transformed what would have been otherwise quite a boring blue into this really magnificent blue so I can't wait to play with it a little bit more but I'll quickly swatch it for you so that's the green and the blue then ultraviolet and pink <clears throat> green blue, ultraviolet, and pink. So yeah, really, really pretty palette. Um, and we got this one from Sephora before we left Australia, but so happy with it. It's such a pretty little palette. Um, then obviously we were leaving to come here. Um, oh, I, we had left anyway. Well, I got that on the plane because we were on the plane on Mother's Day. And before we left the country, I picked up a replacement tan de Chanel because as you would have seen a few videos ago, I was just about running out and this stuff is quite pricey. Um, so that's the packaging. This stuff's quite pricey, so I don't buy it too often, but I got it duty free and I saved about 20 odd bucks. So yay me. But as you can see, this is the product here gonna quickly swatch that for you I love this stuff it's just such a natural cream bronzer it's amazing and I can wear it with makeup without makeup on my decolletage it's such an amazing product I'm so happy with it and this is my second one in about three years and while I was at the Chanel counter I thought I would um, treat myself and I bought myself a bottle of number four it was so expensive but it's so worth it um everybody knows what number five smells like so i won't even try to describe it but i am so glad that i shouted myself a bottle of number five how cool is that like it's even got the little imprint of the bottle on the packaging cool um so it comes in as a bottle like that and it smells so good apparently it's a slightly new scent um but whatever Mm, this smells so good, so good. Um, so I'll be bathing in that for the next month or so. So if you know me and you come across, we're chatting, coffeeing, snuggling, whatever, you're going to smell Chanel number no. five. We went to Boots first and I picked up a few bits and pieces of things that we can't get in Australia or we can get and I haven't managed to get kind of thing. Um, I picked up a new Estee Lauder Double Wear 2C2 Pale Almond. Tried to get this duty free, they didn't have my shade. I also stopped at the Real Techniques counter and saw this. These are the um, beauty blenders in the Bold Metals collection. So I've got a few of the brushes from that collection. But this is the blender uh, for this collection. And it looks like a little diamondy looking thing. But I wanted to show you this before I dirtied it up with all my products and stuff like that. But that's it there. Um, it feels really nice. It feels a lot more dense than their orange makeup sponge. Sorry, I'm still trying to digest lollies. 
Um, I don't know how big it's going to get when I wet it, but yeah, it looks promising. So you'll see me use this in an upcoming video. I also picked up some of the um, Little Baby Miracle Complexion sponges, four of them, because I really like that for setting underneath my eyes. Um, and then I picked up some Eyelua lashes. We've got um, these little corner lashes. I also bought the number 126s. They are really like flashy, flary, fluffy, double layer kind of situ situation going on there. So nice and over the top, like I like life. Yep. And then these little ones that are a bit more piecey, they're like the one, they're, they're, they're not like the 128s, they are the 128s. I got some from the Kiss brand in the style Peony. That reminds me of Keone. But um, yeah, they're another fluffy double double lash kind of situation. You kind of see that there. So yeah. And then I also picked up the Benefit Cheek Parade. Because I was really keen to try this, um, this blush. And also the Hula Light that everyone's been going on about. And I have, I, I am, I, 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 I have, I am wearing the Hula Light as my bronzer today. I really, really like it. I think it's a really nice mid-tone shade. I can get away with the hula easily, and I've just about finished my hula, so I was going to pick up another one of these. But then when I saw if I got one of these and then picked this up, I could actually get the rest of those for free, and I use this one all the time, and I haven't used either of those. So I thought I'd get all of them, um, and I'll just show you. They are full size, and it does have a cute little mirror in there, so you can see that. And then you've got the Rockateur California hula. Is that on oh, no, a California hula hula light and dandelion so I'll do some quick swatches for you so that's Rockatua, California and dandelion I use dandelion heaps I absolutely adore dandelion oh the little brush fell out I love those little benefit box blushes brush block blah, blah. and then I'll swatch the two I'll swatch hula and hula light so that is the original hula and that's Hula Light. So you can see there's quite a difference. But when you're actually putting Hula Light on your face, it does pull through. It's pretty much my skin tone on my hand. But it does pull through a lot more pigmented than that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty shade. And I'm really, really happy with it. And yeah, I'm glad I purchased it. And I also picked up the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy Blush. I've never actually tried any of these blushes before. I tried it today and I'm wearing it today. And this is it here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a beautiful coral colour. I'll just do a quick swatch. I'll knock out the plastic and the little brush. So I'll just swatch it. Oh. Can you see that? It's so soft, so soft. It's amazing. It's not too dusty or anything like that. It's just a really, really pretty everyday sort of blush thing. And then I, the next day, went to Marks and Sparks because I was really keen to pick up some of the Pixie products. So I picked up, um, I went to the, I did, couldn't find, I was distracted. Hmm, finished sentence. I was slightly distracted by the Steeler display, display, display. Because um, I was really wanting to pick up a couple more of the glitter eyeshadow magnificent metal things. And so, yeah, pretty much sold out except for one colour that was left. And this is in the name of Molten Midnight. So that's it there. Uh, that. Mm -mm. And then, as I said, I went to the Pixie counter and I bought a few bits and pieces. Um, starting off, I've unpacked this because I have got it on my face today. This is the Pixie Highlighter in Glow, or oh, Pixie Glowy Powder in London Luster. So it's quite a yellowy highlighter. It's quite, um, quite light. Wow. How pretty is that? And then we've got, um, this little palette. I wanted to try this palette. Now, the blue is what I've got on my eyes today. Um, and when I put it on my eyes, it actually lost a little bit of its sparkle. So that's why I put the Kat Von D palette over the top of it. But this is um, Mesmerizing, yeah, Mesmerizing Mineral Palette in the shade Silver Sky. So it's a little six shade thing. And I thought it was pretty good because you can do a whole look with this. Um, 
because you've got your highlights and your lid colours, but you could probably even put that through the crease. So I'll just do some swatches for you. I won't do the, um, no, I'll just do all five, six. So we've got the white and the cream and this taupey shade and this purpley shade. The purple shade doesn't have a lot of pigment to it. I don't know what the, what the G is there. I'll just swatch it on my arm here. So we've got this, the white, the nude, the taupe and the purple. And then we've got the silver. It's like a dark titanium sort of silver. And the blue. Silver and blue. So as you can see, like it looks a lot more blue, um, but it doesn't swatch that blue. But that's those shades there. Yeah, not too bad. I wasn't disappointed. It went on quite nicely. So, cool. And then finally, the other Pixi products I wanted to try were we've got the Vitamin Makeup Mist. Um, you can use it before moisturiser, strengthens and tones. After makeup for hydration and a protective veil or any time to cool, refresh and wakes up skin. Um, we've got the Glow Tonic. It's got glycolic acid in it and exfoliating. It's an ox exfoliating toner. Uh, I used this last night after I cleansed my face and I woke up this morning and I really liked the way my face felt. I think it actually did a good, good job on my skin. So... I'm really happy with that. And then we've got the um, Hydrating Milky Mist. So that's that there. And this one's before makeup, moisturizers and preps. Um, so I would probably put this on and then do my um, primer. Um, nighttime, the perfect first layer of moisturizer and anytime gives a burst of hydration. And last but not least, this is the thing that started me. I really wanted to pick this item up. And this is the Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. And this is uh, before makeup, extends makeup wear, so like a primer. Um, after makeup, sets makeup and adds a soft focus finish, which is what I have on my face today. And I'm actually really, really happy with it. So I am going to pick up some more. It has set my face so... Um, softly and is wearing really really well and anytime refreshes makeup hydrates and balances so yeah and it smells so good because it's got that rose water and green tea in there but very nice so yeah that's the damage i've done thus far um hmm, i'm pretty happy with that like i said i'm going to imats on saturday so i wanted to do a quick haul so i didn't bore you all to tears with my haul from iMats and I can pretty much just focus on the stuff that I've picked up from iMats and yeah that's pretty much all I had to show you I hope you enjoyed the video peeps please like share and subscribe um, these videos are being done on my iPhone while I'm in England which is going to be for a few weeks yet and we'll see how we go from there I will leave a link um, to the uh, lolly trying video I did with Blakey a few moments ago so if you want to see that one I'll leave a link to it it should be the video just before this one and please like this video please comment I love chatting to you guys it's so cool to have subscribers that I can chat to and please don't forget to subscribe um, wherever you are I hope you're having a brilliant day